El Dorado Police Department began the enforcement of their annual Click It or Ticket campaign on May 18th. I sat down with Police Chief Kurt Zeman to learn more. We for quite a few years now have contracted with uh, Kansas Department of Transportation in what they call their STEP program, a special traffic enforcement program. Uh, about three times a year we do special traffic enforcement. Uh, May of every year around Memorial Day there's a two-week period where you do the statewide click it or ticket campaign. You know we're enhancing the enforcement of seat belt, child safety restraint type enforcement. And during that step campaign we usually have an officer working scheduled overtime just to do that but that doesn't mean other officers while on duty can't be doing that enforcement well as well. We're heightening awareness during this time, getting the public educated and doing enforcement action to, to further bolster that. Any occupant in the front seat of a, of a automobile, a vehicle, must have their seat belt on, as does any occupant anywhere in a vehicle. Now the thing is with enforcement, only, re only way we can stop someone for a primary violation is the front seat occupants have to have their seat belt on. Children, however, have to have it on at all times. That's a primary violation at all times, and it's a separate type of violation. It's a child safety restraint violation versus seat belt. The ideal way to wear a seat belt so, is so that the lap portion is low enough that it's on the pelvic girdle and the shoulder portion is adjusted so that it bisects your chest starting at the inside of the shoulder coming across the chest down meeting at the pelvic girdle. So it gives you a wide variety of coverage. It's on bone, uh, it covers heavy bone areas versus soft tissue areas. Because that bone area is what's gonna stop us in that impact without injuring us near as bad. Some of the state statistics say about 345 persons are involved in 170 crashes each day in Kansas, and only 7% of those that are unbelted are likely to escape without injury. And half of all fatalities occur among those who are not wearing a seat belt. And while seat belts may not always prevent a serious or fatal injury, certainly no other piece of equipment within the vehicle provides more protection. So good thing to wear them all the time every day all the time so be sure you click it so you don't get a ticket from El Dorado I'm Deanna Bond